worship you, Lamb of God. We celebrate you because you are good. There is no one like you in all the earth. No one can compare. You are in a class all by yourself. So we as a congregation of worshipers, we lift up your name. Hallelujah to your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to Come on, Zion, sing it. and sing it, come on.
Jesus. Bless your name. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, I say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, has he not been good to you? Oh, just think of one good thing that God did for you today. Just one, just one. We can name a whole lot, but just think of one good thing. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for blessing me. Oh, you don't even have to whisper to your neighbor. Just think of that one, that one thing just for a second. You can talk to your neighbor and testify and let the Lord know what he's done for you, but I can't keep it to myself. Right now, I'm simply happy about the fact that I'm standing here breathing God's air on tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm not going to try to sit up here and act like everything is just all hunky-dory with Charles Blake II. But Sister Judy said that if you worship the Lord, he will go into your house. While you're in his house worshiping him, he's at your house right now working on your situation. Why? Because he is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And while you're here in his house worshiping him, his spirit is in your house. And wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is peace. Peace is at your house right now while you're here giving the Lord prayer. Healing is at your house while you are here giving the Lord prayer. Promotion is at your house. Blessing yeah. is at your house. While you are here giving the Lord praise. Somebody in here give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. I was just going to get up here and raise offering and move us into a little bit of the next phase of God's worship. But I, I want the spirit of the Lord at my house. I need the spirit of the Lord at my house. I don't have it all figured out. I might seem like a pretty smart guy, but I don't have all of the answers. I need the spirit of the Lord in my house. Yes, yeah, sister, Pastor Blake needs the spirit of the Lord in his house too. Amen. Oh, don't get it twisted. Amen. I am nowhere near having it all figured out. But as long as the blessing of the Lord, he said that if we will worship him, he would go to work on our behalf. Oh, somebody give the Lord praise on tonight, beloved. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And it might not make a whole lot of sense in the rational, figurative world and physical world that we live in. But if you give the Lord praise, he goes to work for you in the heavenlies. He goes to work for you in a realm that physical eyes can't see. Wherever his spirit is, there is peace. All you have to do is put your mind on him all you have to do is just spend a little bit of time putting your focus your adoration everything that goes in you that is in you on him and it don't take long amen 
And I guarantee you, when you get back to your house sooner or later, there's going to be a change because the Spirit of the Lord has been in your house. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, I declare on the night that in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. We have the victory. We have the victory. Oh, somebody give the Lord praise for the victory. Oh, I know you're in the middle of a tough situation. I'm in the middle of my situation. But in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Victory in your family, victory in your relationships, victory on the job, victory in your house, victory in your life. We have the victory. Glory, glory, glory. Woo. Oh, just worship it for a few more seconds, beloved. Oh, there's nothing but benefit in worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is already in the room on tonight. Already. Whatever you need, whatever you need is already here. That's why when Dr. Judy just said, lift up your hands, it's like your hands are like spiritual antennas that receive the blessing of the Lord. It lets the Lord know that your eyes and your attention is on him. Whenever you lift up your hands. Ooh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ooh, y'all going and sit down now. It's time for us to give. Give the Lord praise. Because it's offering time. Lord of mercy, this is not what they asked me to do when I got up here tonight. Amen. But like I said before, I need the spirit of the Lord in my house, in my life. Amen. So thank you all for indulging me for that quick second. Amen. As I pray and try to grab for my own sanity. Amen. But well, beloved, it's time for us to give to the work of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And like I said, it has been more than enough that he just simply blessed me with life. But we could stand here all night talking about the blessings of the Lord. We could go around the room and you might not think you have a whole lot to thank the Lord for, but we could spend this an hour on each person here, sitting here talking about the goodness of the Lord. But now it's time for us to be just a little bit good to him or a lot good to him in his work. Amen. I'm not going to try to limit the blessing that you want to give to the work of the Lord. We usually ask for no less than $25, but I believe that somebody here is looking to get blessed by the Lord in a very, 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 very special way. Looking to move to a deeper level in their relationship with God, to a deeper commitment. And I believe that if you want to go and get a deeper commitment and go to a deeper level in the spirit of the Lord, you have to have a deeper level of sacrifice, a deeper level of commitment. I'm trying to give more of myself each and every day. Sometimes I don't get it quite right. Sometimes I let everything going on just distract me. But the mercies of the Lord are new every morning. And all I have to do is keep my mind stayed on him. Amen? Yeah. Amen. So we just want to let everyone know that we so much, we appreciate you so much. And thank you so much for your giving and your generosity on tonight. And the deacons are taking their places, and our ushers are already in position to guide us. And let us now stand to receive God's blessing on our giving tonight. Dear precious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Father God. Thank you for all of your blessings. Something as simple in our eyes as the air in our bodies for the breath that you have given us. 
We want to thank you, Father God, that you have been faithful every step of the way, even when we did not know you were there, or even when we were trying to hide from you. We thank you, O oh Lord, simply for being who you are in our lives, that while we can praise you here, that you are going to work on our behalf in our lives. And we thank you for those who have come to give up their first fruits on tonight. Please bless them in a very, very special way that they will know that it was a blessing that could only have come from you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's praise the Lord again for the opportunity of being able to give on tonight. I'd ask that you face the two center aisles between the two sections and to follow the guidance of your ushers. The spirit to fall fresh on me. Your spirit gives me the strength that I need. When I'm down in despair, I know that you'll be right there. I need your Holy Spirit down in my soul. I need your Spirit to fall fresh, fall fresh on me. Your spirit to guide everything that I need. When I'm down on my knees, asking you, Lord, help me, please. I need your Holy Spirit down in my soul. sacred desk hallelujah we thank God for the space that has been afforded us 
through our pastor and our leader, Bishop Charles Edward Blake. Let's celebrate God for him in his absence. Amen. We never take it for granted, the opportunities that we have been afforded to stand before you, the people of God, and to either sing a song or to minister in the word. Let's also celebrate God for our awesome assistant pastor, Elder Charles Blake II. Come on. Let's thank God for him and what God is doing in his life. Oh, come on. Let's celebrate God for him. Hallelujah. We honor you, man of God. Well, as you know, our pastor once again has afforded us the opportunity as the Music and Worship Arts Ministries to come once a month, once on a Sunday and once on a Wednesday. And Sunday is our demonstration. And this past Sunday, we engaged in When Men Worship. How many of you were here? And how many of you enjoy the presence of God with us? What I especially enjoyed was the look on many of your faces when those that you would not normally have uh, before you came and just totally wiped us out. Come on, somebody. As a matter of fact, those two men of God are here tonight. Amen. Brother Dana Hammond on the drums. Amen. And Brother Eddie Brown on the keys. Come on. We celebrate God for awesome men of God that not only know how to play, not only know how to uh, articulate and be skillful on their instruments, but they're serious about ministry. They're serious about what the Lord, amen. Come on, let's praise God because I'll tell you what, as I do my travels in my other job as International Minister of Music of the Church of God in Christ, we find that many of our musicians really don't have the knowledge of the Bible and of, 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 of the flow of God and of who God is. They just play because they are getting a check. But I am here to declare and to affirm as Minister of Music, Worship, and Liturgy here at West Angeles Church that we have a great team of musicians and singers that understand the ways of God. They understand the word of God and they understand their function as it relates to how it is our responsibility to set, maintain, and protect the atmosphere. And tonight we have one of God's best. He's going to come before us in a moment and he's going to minister. And I'm so godly proud of this young man because uh, it was right around 1998 when he began, uh, well, actually when he joined West Angeles Church, but uh, there were times when he would come and he would sit in the back of the church, right around the fifth row from the back. And he would come on Sunday night and just observe. And uh, I remember uh, one Sunday night, and I have never done this before, and I'll never do it again unless the Holy Ghost leads me to, I was leading worship here on a Sunday night, and um, uh, there was such a presence of the Lord in the room that uh, I had the opportunity to leave my post right here, and I walked down those stairs, and I walked all the way to the back, and I laid hands on him, and I began to speak into his life and share with him what the Lord had given me concerning his life, and that he would once, he really came to the fullness of understanding who God had called him to be would be in a place of leading worship and leading thousands before the Lord. And I'm so godly proud of this man of God. He was born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He started leading worship here at West Angeles in 2004. He has a self-titled CD project. He released it in 2014 and it made number 12 on the billboard list. Amen, come on. We celebrate God for our own. That's right. He was a featured singer on the popular TV show, The Bible, American Bible Challenge, and he has performed on TBN, uh, BET, Bobby Jones Gospel, Word Network, TCT Network. And uh, one of the things that I think that many of us don't know about this man of God is that he has a heart for missions. He has a heart for the disenfranchised, for those that are uh, not well-to-do. And because of that, he ministers every fourth Saturday at the Los Angeles Mission downtown Skid Row. Yeah. 
So what you see on Sunday morning, the dancing and the effervescence of this man of God is not just contained in that moment. It is because of what he does on the outside that gives him the energy and the impetus and the authority to stand here and to declare the praises of the Lord. I just want to say once again, and I speak of none other than Minister David Daughtry, I am so godly proud of you. Come on over here, sir. Come on over here. I am so godly proud of you. Come on, let's celebrate God for him as he brings us the word of the Lord. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, I just give God all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. God is so good. He's great and greatly to be praised. I just want you to grab your neighbor's hand before you take your seat. The Lord dropped something in my spirit today, and he told me that many of us were dealing with stress, hypertension, worry, fear, and God said he was going to break that tonight as we pray for our neighbor. God said he's going to lift the pressure off of us. A lot of us are stressed out about bills and rent. Some of us have got a bad report from the doctor. But God says, I come to lift the pressure off of you as you begin to open your mouth even now and pray for your neighbor. As you begin to open your mouth even now and intercede for your neighbor. In the name of Jesus, we come against stress. In the name of Jesus, we come against hypertension. In the name of Jesus, we come against worry right now. In the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of fear right now. In the name of Jesus, come on, open your mouth and pray. Say to the Lord God, rebuke you. We plead the blood of Jesus in this room. We plead the blood of Jesus in this room. We plead the blood of Jesus in this room. We come against infirmity. We come against sickness in the name of Jesus. We come against high blood pressure. We come against low blood pressure. We come against heart trouble. We come against cancer. We come against sugar diabetes. We come against back trouble in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. 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 We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus prevail. We declare it in this room that by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are set free. We declare it in this room that every bill is paid in the name of Jesus. We declare it in this room that our finances are all right in the name of Jesus. Come on a little longer. Open your mouth and pray for your neighbor. Come on, intercede for your neighbor. There's a breakthrough in this room. Open your mouth and intercede for your neighbor. Intercede for your neighbor. Intercede for your neighbor. Touch my neighbor, God. I don't know what they're going through, but you know what they need. Give it to them in the name of Jesus. We come against discouragement. We come against depression. We come against oppression. We come against every suicidal spirit. In the name of Jesus, you come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Come on a little longer. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. God's doing something while you pray. He's walking up and down the aisles. He's meeting your needs while you pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus, have your way. Jesus, have your way. Move by your spirit. Move by your spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let your neighbor hand go and go for yourself. Open your mouth and give them praise. It's done in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and give him praise. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violence take it by force. Take it by force. Take your healing by force. Take your joy by force. Take it by force. I'm not come to the Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it by force. In the name of Jesus. I'm not Come on, just reach your hand out and get it. Reach your hand out and take it by force. Whatever the devil stole, get it back. Get it back in the name of Jesus. Take your ministry back. Take your power back. Take your anointing back. Take your joy back. 
Take your peace back. Uh, take your family back. Uh, take your children back. Come on, Kondolo Mohosaya. Take your health back. Come on, Kondolo Mohosaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. We give you praise. Uh, we give you glory, God. Uh, we give you honor, God. Uh, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Come on, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Open your mouth and give them praise. We sing glory to your name, God. We sing glory to your name, God. We sing glory to your name, God. We worship and adore you, God. We bow ourselves before you, God. Giving you the glory, God. Hallelujah. That is due your name. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, God. Hallelujah. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. Come on, let's take a second and glorify him. Let's take a second and praise him. Nobody like him. And we give him the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, let's sing this praise. Come on, glory to your name. Glory to your name. Come on, sing it with us. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. We sing glory to your name. Glory to your name. Forever you Forever are. You're the same. Are Hallelujah. The same. We worship and adore you. We, worship and adore we bow ourselves before you. Bow ourselves before you. Giving you the glory. Giving you the glory. That is to your that name. Is to Hallelujah. Your name. Come on, let's take it up. Say glory. Come on. Glory to your name. Come on, glory to your name. Glory to your name. We sing glory to your name. Glory to your name. Forever you are. You're the same. Hallelujah. We worship and adore you. Come on. We bow ourselves before you. Giving you the glory. That is to your name. Hallelujah. Your name. Come on. We magnify. We magnify your name. Come on. And we glorify your name. Glorify your name. Come on. Give a praise. Oh God. Oh God. You're in a class all by yourself. Nobody like you. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We magnify your name. Glorify your name. Come on. Give a praise. Oh God. Oh God. You're in a class all by yourself. Nobody like you, Jesus.
is what I do. What I do. Come on, lift those hands, everybody. Lift your hands and give them praise. Lift your hands and give them praise. Lift your hands and give them praise. Hallelujah. 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 God said he's meeting your need as you praise me. God's healing someone's body as you praise him. Open your mouth and praise him. Open your mouth and praise him. Open your mouth and praise him. Give him the sacrifice of praise. Come on, push past your flesh and give him the sacrifice. Push past how you feel and give him the sacrifice. Give him the sacrifice of praise. 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 Open your mouth and give him praise. Open your mouth and give him praise. Praise is what we do. Praise is who we are. One more time, say, it's what I do. 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 And praise is what I do. Praise is what I do. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you glory, we give you honor. Hey, it's what I do. It's what I do. Give the Lord praise. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Give him honor. Give him worship. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hey, we love you, Jesus. We glorify your name. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, Jesus. Mm, Jesus. Samaya. Mm, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. Mama Kandoboko Satanamaya. Come on, don't let this moment pass you by. Don't let this moment pass you by. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I worship and adore you. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. You can be seated if you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name. Nobody like Jesus. Nobody like our God. Nobody like our God. <laughs> and truly, I love the Lord with all my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be before you very long. I just want to talk about a few things. Please. Help me appreciate the angel of this house in his absence, Bishop Charles Blake. Come on, we can do better than that. But a man of God, he gives us the daily bread every Sunday, every Wednesday. Hallelujah. And come on, keep that applause going for the First Lady. First Lady Blake, hallelujah. And come on, put your hands together again for the assistant pastor. Pastor Charles Blake II, God bless you. Hallelujah. Minister of Music, Dr. Judith McAllister. <laughs> oh God, hallelujah. I want you to know that God is something else. Not in a million years would I have pictured myself standing up here. But when you say yes to God, Hallelujah. He's going to have his way in your life. And so I just want to talk about a few things briefly. Sunday night, we had a service called When Men Worship. And 
it's important to see men worship because when men worship, we defy the statistics. When men worship, we defy the statistic that our men are all in jail or in prison. We have strong men that worship in this church. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And I just want to mention a few of the statistics nationwide. African Americans represent 26% of juvenile arrests. 44% of youth who are detained are African American. 58% of the youth admitted to straight state prisons are African American. And data shows that 93% of black homicide victims are killed by other blacks. And that's why it is important for us to not only worship, but it's important for us to be seen worshiping. It's important that we have godly role models. And I thank God that I did not become a statistic of black on black crime myself. How many of you know where Crenshaw and Imperial is? I'll never forget the day that I went to the bank on Crenshaw and Imperial. It was Wells Fargo Bank and I was taking care of some business at the safe deposit box, minding my own business and a young man came behind me with a gun. And he pointed it in my ribs and he used all type of profanity and cuss words. And he literally used me as the hostage to rob the bank. He took me all back and forth to rob the bank. And everybody in the bank at that very moment disappeared. The whole, it was packed at first. And then everybody just disappeared. But my mom taught me how to plead the blood of Jesus. My mom taught me that if you ever get in trouble to call on the name of Jesus, that there was power in his name. There was healing in his name. There was deliverance in his name. And I began to plead the blood of Jesus. And when he finished robbing the bank, he dropped, he dropped me and he ran out the side door. And the Lord revealed to me that I spared your life because I had a call on your life. And I had a purpose for your life. And I have something for you to do. And when God has something for you to do, we've heard our bishop say, you can't die <laughs> until you do what God has called you to do. And so I know sometimes people may not understand my praise, but you never know what people has been through. You never know what they've gone through. I know that I should be dead sleeping in my grave, but God gave me another chance. And so every opportunity that I get, I believe in giving God my best. I believe in dancing for God. I believe in opening my mouth and shouting to God because he's worthy of all the praise and the glory. Am I right about it? Somebody open your mouth and shout and give God praise. Hallelujah. Anybody been close to death in here? Anybody been close to death? Let me see your hand if you've been close to death. Anybody ever tried to rob you? Well, guess what? You're still here. Come on, tell somebody, I'm still here. God gave me another chance. And so, if we want God to show up, we've got to learn how to praise him. If you ever want to get God's attention, learn how to praise him. Because he loves to be praised. And Psalms 16 and 11 says, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Everything that we need is in his presence. And how do we get in his presence? Through praise and worship. Come on, come on, talk back. How do we get in his presence? Through praise and worship. Hallelujah. So I just want to explain a few things that happened this past Sunday night. Of course, you know that there are seven levels of praise, and I want to talk about the third level. The third level is Hallel, H-A-L-E-L. Hallel means to make an open show about your love and your adoration of God, to be clamorously foolish about your love for your God, clamorously foolish about your love for God. Now, it, it amazes me because I know that we haven't been saved all our lives. And some of us, when we were in the world, 
we partied and we went to the club and we drank and we smoked and we did all of that. We stayed out to the wee hours of the night, but then some type of way when we get in God's house, we get real sophisticated and dignified and, and we don't want to shout and we don't want to open our mouths too loud. But how many of you know that God deserves the best from you? How can you give the devil your best and not give God your best? Hallelujah. It also means to be unrestrained with your praises as you show your love for the Father. Psalms 22 and 22 says, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. So when people ask you, is it orderly? Is it all right to dance? Absolutely. Psalms 150 and 4 says, praise him with the temple and dance. Anybody know what Jeremiah said? He said it was like, where? Shut up in my bones. I can't contain my praise. Sometimes I say, I'm, I'm not going to move that much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be still this time. And it don't work because it's like fire shut up in my bones. All you got to do is look back and see where God has brought you from. All you got to do is look back and see what you used to drive. And look where God has brought you from. Look what you're living in now. Look at the job you got now. Has the Lord been good to you? He deserves the best praise. 2 Samuel, the sixth chapter, talks about how David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was girded with a linen, linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michael, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. Now, that taught me something right there. Do you know everybody don't want you to praise God? Some people have an attitude, why is she so noisy? Why is she dancing all the time like that? But again, you don't know, like I know, what the Lord has done for me. And David answered her, Basically, and said, if you thought that was something, I will, be yet, I will yet be more vile than thus and will be based in my own sight because he deserves the praise. That's why sometimes you got to check out your row and make sure you know who you sit next to. Do a little praise check. Are you a praiser? Are you a praiser? <laughs> Are you a praiser? Hallelujah. This means that I will be even more dignified and more radical. Also, Psalms 47 and 1 says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. The fourth level of praise is Shabbat. That is a loud adoration. That means to open your mouth and shout to the top of your lungs. A shout proclaiming with a loud voice, unashamed, the glory, triumph, power, mercy, and the love of God. This word implies that testimony is praise. Now, of course, we know that everyone can praise the Lord. Psalms 150, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. But we know to worship the Lord, you have to have a relationship with him. And that is what he is looking for. John 4, 23, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such the Father is looking for those that will worship. We also understand that worship is not just something we do in church. It's not just something we do when we enter into the gates. But worship is a lifestyle. The Bible says in Romans 6 and 13, Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. God said, be ye holy for I am holy. That's why we have to feed ourselves spiritually. How do we feed ourselves spiritually? We have to do our homework. What is our homework? We worship at home. We praise at home. We pray at home. We read the Bible at home. Then when we enter into the gates, we don't need anybody to beg us to praise us. We don't need a cheerleader in front of us to say, Simon says, lift your hands, and Simon says, clap your hands. You don't need that when you've been in the presence of God during the day. Am I right about it? Anybody know about seeking God in your home? 
Anybody know about opening up your mouth and giving God a shabak when you're at home? Hallelujah. Come on right there. Open your mouth and shout to God with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. How do we also do our homework? Prayer life. God is calling for us to have a deeper prayer life. God wants us to commune with him every day. I often use the analogy that if two people are dating and their communication is not good and we talking every other day and then we talking every three days and then we talking once a week, we're we not going to be together very long because we don't have communication. Same way with the Father. We have to talk to him every day. Those that you have a close, close relationship with, you talk to them every day. And God wants us to commune with him every day. Acknowledge me in all your ways, and I will direct your paths. God wants us to consult him about everything. What house should I buy? What car should I buy? Some of us just make any kind of decision without first consulting him. And then when we need to get out of trouble, oh, God, I need you to help me. But if we had asked him at first, he would have told you, that's not the one for you. You're not supposed to marry him. You're not supposed to marry her. How many of you know that God will talk back? God will talk back to you. If you ask him, he will tell you. Hallelujah. Also, Worship is not something that we do out of our feelings because sometimes you're not going to feel like it. Sometimes you're going to have a bad day and you're going to walk in here and we're going to say, lift your hands and give God praise. And you're going to say, I don't feel like doing that. You don't know what I've been through. <laughs> I've had a bad day today. But David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Bad times, happy times, sad times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. No matter what happens, do you know that you can praise your way out of what you're going through? You can praise your way into the presence of God. I'm almost done. Another thing that God spoke to me on Sunday, I was sharing with one of our leaders. God told me, don't ever ignore my presence. It's a dangerous thing to feel the presence of God and not respond. If you don't respond to the presence of God, you need to, to check, out, check out yourself and see if, see if everything's in line. When God comes in, he comes in to touch us. He comes in to bless us. The things that we need, he comes in to do. But if you don't respond... You have to open your mouth and praise him. You got to lift your hands. You got to get into the service. You can't be hindered. You can't let problems keep you from praising God. You can't be thinking about what happened at work and who got on your nerves. And I can't worship God because somebody rolled their eyes at me when I came into the building. And she's not speaking to me. And I can't give God praise. And, and she stepped on my foot and took my parking space. All of the things that we need to mature and grow up from. God is calling his people to mature. The world is dying and going to hell, and we fighting over parking spaces. Hallelujah. God wants us to grow up, mature, and take ownership of our worship. Take ownership of your worship. You are responsible for your worship. The praise team can't do the worship for you. The praise team can't sing for you. God loves to hear your voice. God loves to hear when you worship. He moves when you worship. Hallelujah. Last thing. And when you come to a certain level in worship, your worship becomes warfare against the enemy, realizing that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Your praise and worship is your weapon against the enemy. When the enemy brings depression to you, pull out your weapon of praise. When somebody gets on your nerve, pull out your weapon of praise. Go to glorifying God. Go to magnifying God. Go to giving God glory. Hallelujah. Last scripture, 2 Chronicles 20, 21 and 22. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army, and to say, praise the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. And when they began to sing and to praise... 
And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. And I was intrigued by this word, ambushments. And ambushments means an act or instance of attacking unexpectedly from a concealed position. I want you to just look at your neighbor and say, God is getting ready to attack the thing that is attacking you. And it is going to be smitten. Can you give God praise for that? Whatever is attacking you, God is getting ready to annihilate it. Whatever it is in your life, whatever sickness it is, whatever you're going through, God said, as you praise and worship me, I will set ambushments against your enemies. That's a good place to give God praise. Somebody open your mouth and give God praise for attacking and annihilating your enemy. Come on, you can do better than that. Open your mouth and shout to God for attacking and annihilating your enemy. Come on, one more time. Put those hands together and shout to God with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. We've heard the word. God is setting ambushments against that which has come against us. So come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hallelujah. One thing I want us to note. They praised God. They didn't praise their situation. They were faced with negativity all around them. But they did not ignore what was around them, but they spoke to their God who could handle what was around them. And many of us, when we're faced and surrounded by insurmountable difficulties, we have the tendency to be myopic in our view. And we look at what we can see, realizing that that is tangible, but what we cannot see is even more real than what we can touch. Even as Elisha said to, his, to God about his servant, he said, Lord, open his eyes that he may see that there are more with us. I want you to know tonight that there are more with you than what you can see. But the way that you release it is through your praise. So on the count of three, I don't care what's surrounding you. Come on, praise team, help me. I don't know what's surrounding you. I don't know what you got to go back home to. But the Lord sent the prophetic word to us tonight to say that God is getting ready to fight against that which is fighting against us. But we've got to lift up our voice and give God glory. Are you ready? Hallelujah. He said our worship becomes warfare when we lift God up. So on the count of three, I want everybody in this room to open up your mouth and give God the best Shabbat. Give God the best Hallel that you can because you know that you're already victorious. One, two, three, come on! Come on in his presence. Strongholds are torn down in his presence. Hallelujah! Sickness has to flee. In his presence, he becomes Jehovah Gabor, the Lord that fights on our behalf. Hey! Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. Let God arise and every enemy be scattered in the name of the Lord Jesus. And so, Father, we thank you tonight that praise is our weapon. We thank you tonight that the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We thank you, oh God, that you've given us the enablement to have a two-edged sword in our hand and the word of God in our mouth. So we bless 
bless you tonight and we praise you tonight and we have the confidence that you're working it out for our good I wish I had somebody to give God glory come on and give him glory bless your name Lord Jesus And even now, we plead the blood. Come on, everybody, say the blood of Jesus. Come on, say the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood is a weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. The blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Come on, plead the blood, the blood. The blood which yet works. The blood. The blood which is efficacious. The blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. And we bind and arrest the spirit of torment. Hey, Hey, Masaba. In the name of Jesus, come on. I need somebody to come on. Come on, lift up your praise. Lift up your praise. Lift up your praise. We bless you tonight. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your word tonight. And we ask you, God, that you would settle this word on the inside. Hallelujah. And in those times, Lord, when we're surrounded by enemies that we would recognize that our victory is in our praise come on somebody put your hands together come on come on clap your hands like you have an agenda come on clap your hands like the devil's between them come on clap your hands all ye people and shout burdens are being lifted as you shout yokes are being destroyed as you shout thank you Jesus and we thank you for the victory come on I just want you to look at somebody and say you have the victory come on prophetically declare to them come on look at them and say you have the victory yes you have the victory I don't care what it looks like you got it you just got to begin to walk in it and walk in faith and knowing that God that started you out is going to complete the work in your life. Glory to God. Listen, there may be one in this house. Woo, yes, Lord, thank you. There is so much taking place in this room right now that only eternity will be able to reveal to us what the Lord is doing and the hand of God upon us. God is readying us for something great, West Angeles. He's preparing us for something great. And as Minister David said, we gotta walk in the maturity of God. We gotta stop being babes. We gotta, we gotta grow up in him. Hallelujah, and embrace what he is doing in our midst. Glory to the name of Jesus. But there may be one in this room that does not know the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. Amid all that we have said tonight, there is something missing because as he said, it is obligated to everyone that has breath that we are to praise the Lord. But only those that have relationship can worship. Worship is the atmosphere of heaven. If you want to go to heaven, you got to accept him. You got to have relationship. Hallelujah. 
There are certain things that only those that worship, that have a relationship, are qualified for. And I want to inform you that the Lord wants the very best for you. He's already given his son. That was his best. And as we accept him into our lives, then as he grows within us and as we allow him to grow on the inside of us, then he begins to reveal his best to us. So if that's you tonight, you don't know the Lord and you want to know him, we know you by the lifting of your hand. Come on. Anyone in the room not saved, it looks like we're all believers, but I'm not going to take the chance because you never know. If there's one that has walked with God, but you kind of slipped a little and we all do from time to time and you want to recommit your life to the Lord find yourself here at the altar come quickly come 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 from all over the room whoever you are wherever you are come on don't be afraid don't be ashamed if that's you tonight yes come on that's good come on yes Come on, let's praise God for this brother. Come on. Come on, I need some strong men to surround this brother. That's it. Come on. Come on. Ah, yes, yes. That's beautiful. 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 Come on. Yes. Beautiful. Come on. There's yet room. There's yet room. God bless you. Come on. There's yet room. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Is, is there one that desires to be a member of this wonderful church? West Angeles Church of God in Christ. A church on the move for God. A church where we grow together, where we love together, where we lead together. Yes. Hallelujah to Jesus. Well, I'm going to ask our assistant pastor to come and just lead us further. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate God for what God is doing. Let's praise McAllister. And let's praise the Lord for the word coming from Brother David Daughtry on tonight. And let's praise the Lord for our brothers and our sisters. Amen. Amen. And we praise God for each and every one of you here. We thank you so much that you all have decided to give your life to Jesus Christ. God has put something inside of each and every one of us here. And if you want to find out what that, at, what that is, you have to get connected with your maker. Amen. Amen. Everybody, please repeat after me. Dear precious Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for sending your son to die for my sins. Please forgive me for the wrong things that I have done. Please forgive me for the wrong that I have been. I believe that Jesus Christ came and died on the cross and rose again from the dead on the third day. And I ask his forgiveness and that he would now live in my heart from this day forward. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's praise the Lord again. Amen. And again, we just praise God for each and every one of you. We would ask that you would just spend a little bit of time with our prayer room workers and our ministry team. They're just going to get a little bit of information from you. Bishop Blake would love to have your name on his prayer list. He would love to be able to write you and just get a little bit of information. So if you can just go with Elder McLemore right there for, us for a few seconds, you'll be back out of here within the next five minutes. And let's praise the Lord again for our brothers and our sisters on tonight. Amen. And again, let's praise the Lord for what God is doing in the lives of our music department, what God is doing in the life of West Angeles Church. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I know how you feel. You said, I would never in a million years would I have imagined myself standing at this pulpit. I was like, I know how you feel, brother. Amen. But let's give the Lord praise again for what he's doing in each of our lives on tonight.
And please stand for benediction. Dear precious Heavenly Father, as we've come to the end of our time in your house, Father God, please let us never be away from your presence. Father God, we pray that this praise will be on our lips all day long, day after day. Father God, please help us to remember the good that you are doing. And whenever we get the chance, Father God, we want to let you know that we will give you the praise for all that you do. We ask that you cover us with your hand of protection and cover us with your hand of purpose. Teach us to love each other. Make us one in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.